So my mother was sick. She was diagnosed with heart disease in her early 30s. Good morning. Teachers, let's huddle up real quick. With having a younger brother, at the time he was one years old. I think you will. Lord, I thank you. I was always there with my mom, helping her just take care of Sonny. Plus, he was just my best friend since the time he was born. Every time I think of you. And then in high school, my dad got diagnosed with kidney failure. And I knew that was even a rougher situation. Lord, I thank you. Growing up with my younger brother, I kind of always knew that one day it was just going to be me and him. And that was never a scary thought to me. And that's probably because my mother was just so strong. This is so good. Yeah. Hey, I wanted to ask you about this. Three. What did you get? An A plus. An A plus? My mother survived two strokes and three heart attacks. I knew that, that God was just making sure that I got to the point where I needed to be so that I could watch my brother. A few days before her birthday in March 18th, she was in the hospital. I was two months into college. April 6th, I got the call that she passed away. I immediately dropped everything. I mean, I thought I was just not gonna go to college. I said, well, I tried, but who's gonna help with my younger brother? My dad is the one who pushed me to finish college. Um, he just did not allow me to stay. And by Christmas of 2017, I was in Las Vegas with my first apartment. Can we bring this over here? Yeah. Okay, here, pick it up and bring it over here. Tell me more about what you're doing when you're playing piano. Who are you worshiping? God. Yeah? So how do you learn to play? What do you do? I listen to music, and then I play it. You don't know how to read music? Mm-mm. You just listen to it? Yeah. And you can hear all the different notes? You're gonna have to help me. You're gonna have to sing it with me. When I first met Calvin, he came to us really a little bit out of the blue. He was very kind of timid and nervous and not sure about what was going on. And you could see that he wasn't really sure what he was doing here. According to what I was being told about my brother's demeanor, very soft-spoken and, you know, quiet. And I'm like, that's not my brother. I was kind of explaining to them the Calvin that I knew. The kid that is always talking, who never stops walking or running. He's a comic. He's funny. He's literally a ray of sunshine. And that's why we call him Sunny. That puzzle piece for me was that my dad was definitely a lot sicker than I had thought, and my brother knew it and could have been affected by it. I can't sing that key, what is that? Slowly began to learn he's living with his dad who um, is just in failing health, going through dialysis and all these things and wanting a place for him where he could really come alive, but knowing that under his circumstances and having to go for treatments, um, several days a week that he didn't have the capacity to provide all of that on his own. Just the courage and the, the effort that he put forth to find Unless You in a place where Calvin could come and that we could come alongside him and invest in those ways. We were in the process of trying to do a kidney donation. It didn't move forward too quickly. He just needed some more surgeries and, you know, more testing and they went looking for him because he did not show up to work. No one answered the door. They got to the back of the house where my father's bedroom was, and it was locked and my brother was in there. And they were saying, Sonny, you need to open up the door. And my brother just kept telling them, I have to wait for my dad to wake up. He's asleep. Yeah, December 12th, I learned that he had passed away. You know, you still wake up thinking you're gonna hear from your dad that day. When I heard the news that his dad had passed away, um, I just remember thinking, 
you had challenges enough and just thinking like, how, how is he ever gonna recover from this? Just knowing that he had to go through that alone for so long, I really just wanted to get to my brother. I came home, I had no idea what was gonna happen. I think it's just a matter of providing support. Like that's what I really needed. Let's get to our feet. Let's get back up on our feet. And just making sure that he knew that I was always gonna be by his side and that he was not without family. She had just left her life in across the country to come and pick up the pieces for Calvin amidst losing her father as well, you know? She is either gotta work <laughs> or take care of Calvin and she can't do both and she can't be everything for Calvin. Well, this is a team that really cares and wants to see your child grow. They work with you. Obviously, Calvin and his family weren't in a situation to pay for him to come here, but this was clear that this is what he needed. Being able to talk to the team about where we are financially, and they always respond um, and let us know that we're okay and that um, we will be provided the help that we need. We had some generous donors who were willing to uh, provide for Calvin's tuition and make a way for him to come to Unless You, which would give him a place for him to begin to heal and to become himself again, to be loved and to be cared for, to be safe. <laughs> that fear that I had, uh, even barely knowing him, just what I thought was going to be the outcome. Just not knowing the work that the Lord would do through Unless You, through, through Ray, through all the people coming alongside him. And just, I didn't even believe that it was possible. And now sitting here uh, with the Calvin that we have today is just, it's a miracle. Lindy and Ethan told me he completely did a 180. He is completely at home. In some ways, he runs runs the show around here. I think that this is the best thing that could happen for him, to be able to be around his peers and a group of teachers who not only love him, but just know how to support him, how to help him progress and learn. The first time that we even found out that he had this gift for music, Ray had gotten a piano for him and they sent us a video of him playing the song Graves into Gardens, which just tells about God's power to change the situation and bring death to life. He is an example of God's power to bring light in the darkness and I think he has a gift of shining light. I just want him to have the opportunity to share that with as many people as possible. Although it might seem like we are sitting in a grave, like the Lord is at work to make that a garden. He's done that in Calvin's life and he's continuing to do that in the lives of the hundreds of students that we serve at MSU. That was fun. Really fun. It was that. It was so awesome. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's the way to come on the platform. The first first time, the first time Calvin and I sang this, I couldn't stop crying, and Calvin couldn't stop laughing. So <laughs> we both had kind of met God in that moment, and it felt like uh, we kind of knew what it was like to be seen and heard and known by our great Father. And that's what he wants and that's what we want for you tonight as we sing this song. Again. Before I spoke a word, 
you were singing over me. You have been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. You have been so, so kind to me. found leaves the nine the nine I couldn't earn it I don't deserve it still you gave yourself away oh the overwhelming never ending reckless love of God your foe, still your love fought for me. You have been so, so good to me. When I felt no worth, you paid it all for me. You have been so, so kind to me. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found, leaves the nine to nine. I couldn't earn it, I don't deserve it. Still you gave yourself away Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending Reckless love, God You won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. No wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. Come on. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. Whoa. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up. Coming after me There's no wall you won't get down Lie you won't tear down Coming after me Oh, the overwhelming Never-ending Reckless love of God Oh, it chases me down Fights till I'm found I couldn't earn it I don't deserve it, still you can. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Go by.
Let's give it up for Calvin, folks. Calvin Spates, everybody. And let's give a hand for Ray as well. Thank y'all.